Door closers are all about door control. At minimum, closers manage these three aspects of a door's swing. Closers slow the opening speed of the door as it approaches a fully open position. Closers control the closing speed of the door from its fully open position until a few degrees of its latched position. And closers provide the power to close the door. Let's see how a closer does these three jobs. We'll start by looking at the main parts of a door closer. There is a cylinder that contains a large spring. This spring stores energy during the opening of the door. This stored energy provides the power to close the door. The cylinder is sealed because it also contains hydraulic fluid. The flow of this hydraulic fluid through check valves during both the opening and closing cycles controls the speed of the door swing. And the cylinder also includes a pinion and a piston. As the door opens, the arm transmits the motion to the pinion. The pinion turns and moves the piston. The movement of this piston is what pumps the hydraulic fluid through the check valves, and this movement is also what compresses or releases the spring. A little confused or bored? Let's relate these parts and what they do to what happens during the opening and closing of a door. Let's start with a door that is closed. As you push the door open, the closer arm transmits the motion to the pinion, which moves the piston toward the spring, compressing it. This compression will later provide the power with which the closer will close the door. Remember that one of the jobs of a door closer is to slow the opening speed of the door as it approaches a fully open position. This is called the back check. Back check usually begins when the door is about 70 degrees open. Back check slows the opening of the door to keep a door from hitting an adjacent wall or to keep the wind from catching the door and throwing it completely out of control. The flow of the hydraulic fluid is what determines how much back check there will be. You can set the back check on LCN closers in the field by using the back check adjustment valve to increase or decrease pressure from the hydraulic fluid in the spring chamber. One note of caution, back check should not be used in place of a door stop. Now let's talk about the door as it closes. When you let go of the door, the spring moves it in the closing direction. You can adjust the spring power to give you more closing force if conditions warrant it. But, keeping in mind, adjusting the spring affects both the closing force and the force required to open a door. For accessibility and operational reasons, you don't want to make it so the door is hard for people to open. Another aspect of the closing swing is the speed at which a door closes. The check valves control two different closing zones, the main speed zone and the latch zone. The latch zone begins at about 20 degrees from the closed position. Both of these zones can be regulated by adjustment valves that control the movement of hydraulic fluid. Latch speed is typically set slower than the main speed to keep the door from slamming and to keep from pinching fingers. Latch speed should never be used to compensate for spring power and should never allow a door to slam. Door closers play an important role in the life, safety, and operation of a building. Knowing how they work will help you help them do their job well. Look for more videos.